Hello everyone. Um, they call me Tim13 here. Um, so I've had regular questions and just a word out anybody waiting on a Lua tutorial. This is not that. Um, at any rate, I've had uh, somebody recently request it again and it's just something I've seen discussed a lot and requested a lot is how do you update a table? Um, when you have a table that no longer works, what, you know, what's how would I go about updating it, I guess, would be the better way to answer this. Because there's, there's a million ways you could probably do this. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to go and show you how I would go about doing that. Um, so we've got different methods we can try here. And basically, you know, it's either you've got to refine your values or you've got to try and refine the code one way or another. So if we try one thing and do note um, my cables are set up a little differently so we'll be editing external files but essentially you would be opening one of these scripts and just editing it directly in here um, so that's not gonna be hugely different it's just the edits you see me making in uh, my text editor just imagine like you're doing it here instead um, I just kind of prefer the external editor for this kind of thing um, so this table I've got stored here, and this would be all the, the files here I'd be running. Um, so ultimately when I run this first script, this would be the, the, the script itself. Um, and I could copy and paste this in there, but again, I just kind of prefer doing it this way. Um, so I, I just don't want people to get confused by that um, at any rate. So if we've got, you know, an older table, um, mine uses an auto attach, but if yours does not, of course, you would need to actually go ahead and, and you know, find and manually attach to the process to make sure you're there. Um, but once you're attached, we would just kind of normally, you know, if this was a normal game, we would get somewhere where we're ready to start testing our scripts to see which ones work. Um, that is where if you've got one of those tables where they put a bunch of scripts into one thing, um, it can become problematic. You might actually have to start extracting out the different scripts, and that can be its own little complex mess. Um, hopefully they've got stuff a little more separated. Um, but at the very least, what you can do is just start trying to run the scripts and see what kind of error messages you would get. Um, mine I've got set up to where it will print for me just because I prefer to see it here um, but normally you would need to right click and then get the error message and then here we can see that it's telling us the AOB you know is not found um, so that means it's not finding this right here it's saying this doesn't exist in this exe and basically it was this one was made for the um, 7.2 tutorial and this is on the 7.4 tutorial so you know this would be a, much like a game update essentially um, so the first thing we can do is we can actually just start checking for different forms of this AOB you know maybe it's that longer AOB is going to be unique in the older game but we need to see if we can find the AOB in this game um, or in this game version um, now when I scan for AOBs I prefer to do this just so I kind of find everything uh, but sometimes copy on write isn't always completely necessary um, you definitely do want to have writable with the, the box here and not checked or unchecked um, or as it calls it here gray um, so that way it's both um, executable could just be checked but I just don't mess with that one since it's normally set this way um, because we are looking for executable code um, but if we go ahead and do the first scan here we can see that we're not getting anything back there um, I could make the scans a little faster and actually use whatever module this one is in um, for me it'd be I use a variable but ultimately it'd be this module here basically the exe title or the exe name um, so, we're not finding that part of the AOB, but we can kind of keep looking for different parts of this AOB here. And there we actually do get two hits. Um, so what we can do then is just start looking at each one of these and see if one of them looks like the right code. Um, 
this is where having those commented out sections can be really helpful. Um, if you don't have that, then you're you're kind of you know you're not completely SOL. I'll go over what we can do next to really test this and make sure it is the right thing. Um, but we can kind of see here we are seeing a similar instructions here to what we had. So the easiest way, um, at first, if it's your own table and you kind of remember where these things were injected and what was going on with them, it can make life a little easier. Um, I guess I didn't really show what I was doing there. Let me show that. So um, right-clicking here, then we can go to find what accesses this instruction or what addresses this instruction accesses. And then we can get this window here, and we can kind of see... And since this was my table, I do remember this was something that was accessed constantly. So we can kind of then just play around and see that, yeah, we're getting the right value here. And thus, this would be the, the new instruction I need to point to. Um, and then that's where we can go back to our script here. And start looking to see what's actually changed. And we can see it's the offset. Instead of uh, F8, we've got F0 in the old script. And that's to update this. And let me do something here. I just don't want to modify this version completely. Um, I'd rather... Make a new one. But obviously, if you don't have access to the old game, you can just be directly modifying the original table. But essentially, the same procedures would still be what we'd want to do here. So we know that... That first script, we were able to get a hit from this part of the AOB. This first one seemed like the right one. We'll check again just to be real sure here. Yep. Stop that. Close that. So then if we go here, um, like I said, we could see that basically all that's changed is that offset. And that's what I'm betting if we just change that to F8 and then make sure to change our offset so we're not changing a, an odd value here. We can then inject this and it will work. Nope. That's telling me the, the assert doesn't match and that's because I didn't change it up here too. Um, and not all scripts will have a, an assert thing like this. Um, there is just a normal cheat engine assert. I have my own so it outputs a little more info for me. Um, but essentially here we just need to is checking that this injection point which is the AOB um, is equal to the bytes that we've got defined here so we just need to make sure those that does match um, and that's more I like to explicitly check that because that's what I set bytes back to we would have if we would have went to disable this it would then write the wrong offset so there we can see now we're we're injecting where we wanted to and then next is ready to go so that means this cheat has now worked the way it's supposed to um, and the most we would need to do here is change our offset here so we can actually see the right value again and then that's kind of it for updating scripts. Um, there are other methods as I said um, so at first you really just kind of go through and check to see which ones work and which ones don't. You can see most of these haven't changed so and, and a lot of updates that will be how it will kind of work is you know a lot of stuff will still work fine. It'll just be a few little things that have changed due to structure size changes. 
Um, if I don't get another one that doesn't work, yeah, it looks like all these work. Okay, so yeah, it was only that first one, or step two. Um, so let's say, you know, we weren't able to find anything with this portion of the AOB. Um, you know, then the next question becomes, what are our other options? You know, if this wasn't finding anything for us, you know, we had zero results here. Um, now, of course, obviously, we could just refine this value, you know, then you um, see what accesses this value or this address, um, and basically rehack this portion of the game. But if, say, this was a really difficult value to find, or it's, you know, you're just completely new to this kind of thing and you've never done it before, um, you can always just kind of grab it, as long as there's this commented out section. Um, some table makers don't include this stuff and that does kind of leave you and even them unless they've got really good notes that they save um, where you don't have a lot of options it would just be whatever is in the AOB or what you've got up here would be all your options um, and we do know before editing this this wouldn't have found us anything because that F8 was different you know that byte is different um, but again, we can come down here and just start grabbing different bytes and see if we can whittle this down a little more each time until we either get one result or no results. If we get no results, then we can backtrack it a little bit until we get to the results we're looking for, you know, because three is definitely easier to start inspecting and checking than, you know, a hundred or a thousand or whatever the case may be. Um, here we can actually see this doesn't match even though we've used this same stuff so something else we know now has, has changed. Um, and we can kind of guess since we do know that it was this offset that it may actually be these offsets that have changed. And that would be something you just have to make an educated guess in this kind of example and, you know, assume that, okay, well, if the offsets have changed, I may need to go back and, and do this a little differently. So what we might have to do is do something like this. Three, four. And that would actually be eight. Um, I'm just counting the doubles for one for each byte. Um, and you can just do it singles with spaces but I prefer to do it this way um, but at any rate so we can start saying okay well if that offsets change we won't find anything in this we need to rescan until we find something that does match but change those offsets um, since this is a call I'll assume that offsets probably oh it may have changed too three four those bytes. And this is where you would just kind of have to keep playing with it and jumping around and see it, you know, trying to base it on what instructions you think are less likely to have changed. Um, and this is one of those things that just takes time and, and understanding of how this kind of thing works. I know that likely the, um, the way they're dealing with the stack won't change and the way that they're, this function calls or sets uh, the, the bases that it uses. Um, normally RCX is a real common one I see that will get passed to functions and then inside the functions it will set something else to whatever RCX is. Um, so that way the function can actually manipulate this without ever changing RCX. Um, here it is. but. But, and then that just all kind of depends on the game, the compiler, you know, that was used and just, you know, that does change. Right here, I'm just making educated guesses, basically. Um, but there we can see we, you know, we're not finding anything. Um, we can kind of go back to this one since we know we did find a few. 
and just have a look at them and see I'm betting this is actually the right instruction um, just because we already look, found the right instruction once but but again if you know if you didn't know that you would just have to start playing with things and seeing if you're in the right area um, you may or may not be and that's kind of with updating tables there's you know that's kind of what you're left with um, it's just going based on what you have what information you have and what other information you can gather um, and even here you know I mean this one didn't find anything initially but we may find that it's related in some way and thus you know even though it's not working here it may be you know related to mana instead of health or you know whatever the case may be and thus you know you'd want to you know take note of this address and keep it for a little while it won't work for an update but it will get you back here when you restart the game and are still on the same version um, so that way when you get to mana you might be able to you know figure things out a little quicker um, Funny enough, it doesn't seem to be getting us what we want. I do believe. Yeah, so the way we basically found that last time would have been this bit of uh, those bites and these bites. And I swear it was still that same offset. But essentially, this is what you would be kind of left with is just keep trying different versions of the bytes, you know, different segments of them until you find something that gets you what you're looking for. And then here we know this one is the right instruction. Um, and that's, you know, that's essentially what you're kind of left with when trying to update a table. Um, there's really not a whole lot of other options other than just completely refine the value. Um, which is definitely, you know, something that can be done. It just depending upon how difficult the values were to find in the first place I, I felt like a lot of times it's easier for me to refine the code by using you know the commented out section that's why all my scripts always include this um, and even I keep thinking anymore I need to make this a little longer um, it's, it's mostly work but sometimes when you need a little more it, it can be very helpful to have that little bit of X you know a few more lines of instruction or whatever the case may be um, but of course here, I was thinking I reattached already, but but of course here, you know, if we weren't finding anything, then we are just, you know, we're left with going back and just refinding the value um, until we can figure out what it is. And then we want to find out what access is this instruction. Here we've got the one that fires constantly and then what happens when you actually use hit me um, and then this would of course get us back to the right instruction here um, so that's kind of what you're left with is either more or less rehack the game um, and then at that point you can still once you get back here you can then start just looking at what you need to update in the script and in this case we know that uh, it was that F8 byte, you know, part of that offset is what actually changed. Um, and then I would definitely highly recommend that you go ahead and make note of, of the different version change, you know, and actually maybe put, you know, the version number so that way you know which one is which and that kind of thing so that way even as more updates come out you can easily go in there and, and make the changes to update the code or the script um, and then also know you know if another update comes so say cheat engine 7.5 or whatever the case may be um, or game version whatever 
when we get to here, you know, we would be able to know, okay, this is one that has changed with, you know, the last update, and we can actually kind of look in these and see, you know, what what changed, um, and then kind of start using that information if we need to refine this to know that, okay, it might be, you know, this offset is different again. Um, so we'll want to search everything without that offset included until we find what we're looking for. And that's, that's kind of what you're left with when trying to update a table. Um, there really, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm sure there are other ways of doing it, but this is kind of the ways I know to do it and how what's always worked for me. Um, again, you know, if you had the mono option up here because it was a mono game, you know, you can kind of go that route. Um, that's a whole different subject, though. You just have to Google, like, Cheat Engine Mono. Um, I do know there are a number of videos. Uh, Cheat the Game is a really good source for information. Um, Chris is, you know, he, he does a lot of tutorials, and I know that was actually where I learned a lot of my first steps was watching Cheat the Game videos. Um, and then also just inspecting other people's tables and then learning how to update tables was part of it. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm going to kind of leave this video here, uh, just a general instruction on uh, where to update tables. Um, if you've got any specific questions, feel free to come on to um, OpenSheetTables.org. Um, that's where I spend a lot more time. Um, since I am an admin here, I, I kind of try to keep an eye on what's going on and make sure the site is loading properly <laughs> it's not having issues with bots or any of that because uh, we do have issues with bots and scrapers trying to take too much data from the site uh, <coughs> not something a user would need to worry about it's not they're not stealing information they're just trying to download tables is all um, but at any rate that was kinda I just wanted to touch on that subject um, I do comment on the Reddit a fair amount, but I just I don't pay real well attention to that. I definitely think you would get more help um, here, just because you know even if I was busy and didn't see the message right away, somebody else might be able to step in and give you some advice. Um, you know that way you can kind of just come in here and you know either just request somebody to update it for you, or if you're interested in learning it, you know ask your auto assembler questions or your cheat engine questions or you know however you you know if it's lua related or whatever the case may be um and then we do got some tutorials here i'll be posting this video here too as well probably in the cheat engine tutorial section and then you can also find a link to um cheat the game if you're unaware of uh him um he's got one video posted here so far i'm sure he's going to be posting more. I just know uh, Chris has been pretty busy with, I, I believe, work. Um, so, But, you know, you can get to his channel quite easily from here. Um, so anyway, that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully this helps some people to learn how to update tables and uh, get things working the way you want it to. Anyway, have a good one.